Hello, this is GW Greenbaum, bringing you Gaining an Edge, the show where we discuss, review, examine, look back upon, and generally enjoy knives. So underneath the camera today, we have a pocket slip, and, well, whatever we have, it's made by Fist Blade Works. And in here is the Fist Blade Works variant. It is a very cool little, and I do mean little, uh, slip joint, and it is, as described by Fist Blade Works, a modern swayback. Now, if you're familiar with another knife that Fist Blade Works makes, which is to say the Fist Blade Works variant, then you may come to the conclusion that this is sort of a non locking version of the Fist variant. And you would be partially right, because styling wise, yes, it is but it's also a lot smaller. And that is a rather big difference. This is a significantly smaller knife than that. So, and by the way, I actually really would like them to make something like this as a frame lock, to be honest, but uh, so far we haven't seen that. So let's uh, take a measure of this knife and it is a very, very small one. As we can see here, we are coming in at two and one eighth inches on the blade. As far as overall length, we're coming in at four and a half inches. No, smaller. Uh, sorry. Uh, no, we're coming in at five and a quarter. Good Lord. Four and a half. Wow. <laughs> and uh, enough to make me doubt yeah all right well the first at least i got the blade anyway sorry about that so let's uh get this out and i'm gonna say this weighs ooh, about two and a quarter ounces let's see if that holds up okay 2.135 very close so let's put that down and, uh, okay. So with that said, um, we could do a pocket test with the aid of our Kaiser knife instead of knife roll. Although keep in mind, there is no pocket clip on this knife. So uh, you just have to drop it into the uh, pocket slip. And will it fit into one of these smaller pockets? Well, just barely. Um, obviously it's just going to fit like this. Um, let me just roll this back up and put it back. And lest you are wondering, yes, you do have a lanyard hole right there. So lanyard folks, this knife absolutely will work for you. Now, uh, let's do some size comparisons, uh, against this knife. Starting with the Ontario Knives Rat Model 1, which really dwarfs it. Uh, next up is going to be the Ontario Knives Rat Model 2, which actually is very similar on a top to bottom dimension, but yeah, it's quite a bit longer. Uh, next is going to be our token. Spider Co. Paramilitary 2. This one is a Smoky Mountain Knifeworks exclusive in CPMM4 with the fat carbon uh, scales on it. Next is going to be our token large EDC knife, which is the Cold Steel Recon 1 that totally dwarfs this. Uh, next is going to be our uh, O-Knife Night Claw. And as we can see here, this is a very, very slender knife. Yeah, that's quite small. So, finally, everybody's favorite toenail clipper, the Kershaw Platform, which, as we can see, is quite a bit larger. So, with that out of the way, let's get right into this knife. So, in case you are wondering, the OEM on this knife is QSP. So yes, you absolutely are getting a quality OEM. Uh, we do have a 
very thin behind the edge blade. Um, we also have a great uh, high uh, flat saber and uh, blade steel, as you may be able to see there, is CPM at 20 CV. So all good. Again, this is a slip joint, very nice action, very nice walk and talk on it. And the price for this is actually quite good for a $120 knife. And that is $120. Yes, for 20 CV. This is actually a really, really nice little knife. Uh, you can actually grip this in a couple of different ways. You can either have this finger kind of choke back like this, or you can kind of choke up like this. Put your middle finger here like this. It's actually very ergonomic for a larger hand size, which I find very, I'm very appreciative that they do that for a small knife because sometimes they'll just make a small knife impossible to grip onto. This is actually definitely not like that. So the thing is, I've actually been carrying this quite a bit because my mother was actually in a rehab facility after four days at a hospital and the rehab facility she was at because she had three seizures Fortunately, she is okay now. Um, they did not allow you to carry locking knives, interestingly enough. I actually did ask, and I had a uh, Senkut Serene on me, and they were kind enough to let me walk out with it. But, um, yeah, this was one of the knives that I carried. I also carried some Jack Wolfs, some, uh, some Swiss Army knives, some stuff like that. But... Um, yeah, I carried this, and this actually got a couple of people really asking about it. So, definitely a good thing, you know, that people are asking about a knife in a good way, especially if they're maybe a little bit scared of a knife. I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah, I really wanted to share the Fist Blade Works Vanish. I thought it was just a cool knife, and, you know, it did whatever I had to do with it. Mostly that was just cutting twine, and I also opened some packages and broke down a little bit of cardboard, but I also have used this at home, and obviously, you know, there I'm going to do cardboard, acrylic material, um, compressed board, and I don't do balsa wood very often, but I actually have tried this uh, whittling on pine, and it does work. So, yeah, there you go. And... Uh, uh, let's see how it slices uh, for the camera, so to speak. And we'll start with this grip. And as we can see here, it is nice and slicey. Okay. And again, this is 20 CV with a QSP heat treat, so I would not worry about losing the edge anytime soon. Uh, in case you're wondering about the walk and talk, I would say the pull is maybe a seven ish, a uh, heavy six light seven, something along those lines. Um, and in case you are wondering about the thumb slot, you can, with extreme difficulty, open the knife with one hand. I don't expect anyone to actually do that, though. And I think the thumb slot is just there to make two-hand opening all that much easier, particularly if you've got something like gloves on where, you know, you're going to be a little bit more limited in opening a slip joint, but this actually would open pretty well with gloves on. So always a good thing, especially for a work knife. And again, this is a sway back. It is absolutely a work knife. Um, the only two potential negatives that I could see with this knife are first, the anti-sway back crowd that is obsessed with sway backs is going to buy it and give it negative reviews. And uh, I've actually talked about that crowd before. They will buy absolutely anything that is a sway back and then proceed to complain about the ergonomics. I don't know what is up with that crowd, but I know that they exist. And this is my acknowledgement of them existing. And yeah, they're, they're, they're going to do what they're going to do. So yeah. 
The other issue though is a little bit more serious and that is availability of this knife. Now, it does kind of make sense that a knife that goes for $120 with CPM 20 CV and superb quality control and is a great slip joint is going to sell out pretty quickly. But honestly, this knife seems like they really could not keep up with demand. It sells out pretty much whenever it comes into stock. So that's kind of unfortunate that they can't really seem to make more, but hey, first come, first serve. Um, and usually they will last a couple of days at least, so you don't have to, you know, <laughs> there's no mad minute or mad rush for, you know, selling out in five minutes or something like that. So you know, at least they'll be there a day. So do I recommend this knife? Absolutely. This is an incredible little knife. Uh, I love it, and I would absolutely recommend it to anyone who likes Swaybacks and isn't going to complain about them, and also likes slip joints. This is a great little knife. So, one last thing. We're going to slice our packing peanut here. And, of course, we're going to slice it very nice and cleanly. And with that being said, this has been J.W. Greenbaum having brought you Gaining an Edge the show where we discuss, review, examine, look back upon, and generally enjoy knives. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you could hit the subscribe button, I'd be very grateful. We're having a giveaway at 500 subs. Also, please be sure to leave a comment because um, I do respond to all the comments I get. And also, please be sure to hit the bell notification icon because we don't just do Gaining an Edge here. We also do Two for Tuesdays, Three for Thursdays, and Fun Knife Fridays. So this has been J.W. Greenbaum having brought you Gaining an Edge, signing off, and wishing you a great day.